What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to go over the top five mods that I would have done to the IS-300 to start drifting and this is going to be in order of how I would have done it. Um, this is not necessarily how I did it to begin with but this is how I would have started. So this is the uh, five mods that I would have started with to get into drifting. All right, first things first, I would have got coilovers. Coilovers is almost essential when you get start when you start to drift. And I know stock suspension can be great sometimes if you have a new car, but for an older car like this that is probably 17 years old, coilovers or even lowering springs are a great upgrade. Coilovers stiffen up suspension, keep your body planted on the ground. Put the keys down. They keep your body planted on the ground so when you're sideways, you have maximum grip. When you have stock suspension, you're gonna be swaying left and right, and uh, it's not gonna feel good when you transition. So coilovers is definitely a plus, especially when you first get into drifting. You have tons of options. You have, you have BCs, you have feel, you have stance. I got CX Racing just because I'm on, I'm on a budget and it works good for me and I heard good reviews, but make sure you, know, you figure out what you want, what spring rates. I'm on 14 and 10 with the CX Racing coilovers and they work great for me. I can definitely use an upgrade soon, but uh, to get started, that was definitely uh, a good choice for the price. Next on the list is tires. So I run Federal RSRRs on my cars just because um, they're really cheap and they have a lot of grip. I mean, just look at that pattern. They just look really good, really aggressive, but I mean, looks isn't everything. You wanna have a really grippy setup. This is the stock tire size. So that is a stock tire size 215, 45, 17, and they work great for me. Um, all you need is two tires in the front to have some grip so you don't understeer like crazy. And the rear, you could run something just like this, just to burn. These are iMovie, lighting is crazy, iMovie, Iron Man Gen 2s and they, they wear really nicely, nicely. I think they were like 120 bucks for a set. And so if you're talking about total between rear tires and front tires, it's probably like 350 bucks, which is not bad to get started to drift, especially when you're learning, you're burning through tires. I would recommend getting cheap tires in the back and some nice looking tires in the front some Federals RSRRs to be exact. All right, next is the bucket seat. These bucket seats are super essential when you're drifting. I mean, when I started drifting, I was banging my knees on the door, on the center console. And you know, it's hard to, when you're trying to pedal and drift at the same time, when you're sw swinging around on your seat. So I picked up these brides after my first drift event. So I would stay in place when I drive. Without bucket seats, you're gonna be swaying back and forth and hitting things and you can't focus on the driving. So I really recommend getting bucket seats. I have reclinables and I pass tech at every event and I plan to upgrade to a full bucket just because uh, I need more of a support. But uh, for now, that works great and definitely is a must if you wanna get into drifting and have a lot more control of your car. Next on the list would be poly bushings. I have poly bushings on the lower controller number one, number two, and a steering rack, and that made driving so much better. Um, it was so much more responsive. I can feel the road, and uh, you know, I can feel when the tires are, are oversteering, understeering, all of that. And I think that's definitely a must, especially, you know, old cars have really worn bushings. All right, here you can see some of my arms. I don't know if you can see any of the bushings, but I'll try to show you. But I did that bushing, I did the lower control number two, and I did the steering rack. All right, so trust me, once you upgrade your bushings, your car is gonna feel better than factory. So it's gonna feel a lot more responsive. It's gonna feel like a race car, but like great on the street. That was something I didn't expect to feel that amount of change with that, uh, with just that little amount of upgrades. And so the car definitely feels great. And I really recommend as one of the top five things you should do is to upgrade your, your bushing. All right, last but not least, I would change your shifter bushing. So right now there's not that much play, but before it would have like this amount of play. Trying to find the gear was uh, pretty hard, especially if you're banging gears. If you're going from like third straight down to second, if it's loose, you're gonna either miss shift or like not fully engage in the gears. So I really recommend changing your bushings or even upgrading to a short shifter, but making the shifter feel a lot better. It's gonna enhance your driving and help you in the future once you get a lot more aggressive with your driving style you can just bang gears like just like that 
and you won't have to worry about missing a gear because if you miss a gear and you go from like let's say you're going from second to first or your fourth to third trying to go into fifth you're gonna your car is gonna redline and you're gonna like blow up your engine and so really really recommend and it's cheap it's like five ten dollars so there's no reason why you shouldn't change your bushing. It's All right, so those are the top five mods that I would do for my car and probably in that order too, just because, uh, you know, for me, I wanna go out and drive right away. So I would do a mod here, coilovers first, and then tires, tires especially. I'd do coilovers and tires before I even go to the first drift event. And from there, you keep adding parts, the poly bushings, the bucket seat, the shifter, and uh, yeah, you can go on from there, but those are my top five mods I would have done to the IS300 when I first get into drifting. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.